Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shalini Singh, consultant in reproductive medicine from Ankura 9M Fertility. Today we are going to discuss recent advances in IVF. Yesterday a couple came to me telling me that they had three IVF failures 10 years back and now they are not willing to go for any treatment. So we have to discuss that what advances have been made in IVF and now how the treatment is much better than last decades. Coming to the first point, previously IVF uh, embryo transfer was done on day three embryos. But now we have the technology to grow the embryos up to day five blastocysts. The blastocysts, the day five embryos have much better success rate compared to day three embryos. So transfer of blastocysts is much better than day three embryos. Second advancement we are going to talk about is embryo freezing. With improvement in IVF and embryo freezing techniques, we can freeze the embryos and safely preserve them and use them so that uh, other problems in the patient which can be taken care of, like uterine problems like fibroid, adenomyosis, recent advancements like so better embryo selection technique with the help of uh, PGTA helping us to improve the success rates of IVF. When we transfer a single euploid blast in a patient, the success rate of IVF can go up to 80% in a patient. Embryo selection with the help of uh, time-lapse imaging is also one of the advancements which is using artificial intelligence to select the embryos and leaving them undisturbed and unexposed to the external environment is the future of embryology. Other important development in IVF are better sperm preparation techniques. Male and female both contribute to the formation of the embryo. We take care of the oocytes, but sperms may also contribute to the embryo, embryo quality and failure of IVF. So better sperm preparation techniques using microfluidics and max in preparation of sperms has also helped us to improve to get better quality embryos and improve the success of IVF. When there are failures in IVF because of recurrent implantation, so technique like ERA, endometrial receptivity array can also help us to improve the success rate and exactly know what is the cause of failure. Sometimes we put the good embryo at the wrong time and the embryo fails to implant. So personalized embryo transfer with the help of ERA can help us to get success in patients who are repeatedly failing IVF. Recent introduction of genetics, fertility genomic analysis in patients, where we can exactly pinpoint the genes which are responsible for fertility in both male and female has helped us to diagnose the various difficult cases of IVF which face failures. So implantation genes, egg producing genes, sperm producing genes can be studied in the lab and exact cause of failure can be diagnosed. So with these recent advances in IVF, you need not get disappointed and with the technological advances, we can go for better success rates in IVF. Thank you.